Hey there friend, Darren here from Thunkable X Tutorials and xtutorials.io here with a video for you today that I think you will really like. You know, as a creative who loves working on projects, I know that it can be hard to finish projects sometimes. Starting projects is, is always really a lot of fun. You're working through the details and you're imagining what, what could happen with whatever you're working on. But once you start getting down to the details and working down in the nitty gritty for a few weeks or months, things can get hard. So in today's video, I wanna share with you five tips I would share to help you finish your Thunkable X app and wait till the end for an exciting announcement about a new course I am going to be releasing next week. Let's dive in. So the first tip is to think MVP. MVP stands for Minimum Viable Product. This is like the baseline of what you have to do to get your app done. What is like the one or two things that your app must have in order for it to be an app? Anything that is extra or fancy or glamorous, those things can be added later once you have your minimum viable product. It really is honestly so easy to get caught up in the fancy glamorous features because they can add value, but the truth is they can also hinder you from actually completing your app. So what I would suggest is getting those baseline minimum things done first, publishing the app and then adding on to it later. That is the minimum viable product. Tip number two is to let limitation breed innovation. I spend a lot of time on the community forums for Thunkable and Honestly, every now and again, you see someone like ranting about how bad Thunkable is and how, you know, why don't they have this feature? And for these people, I really just say like, yeah, they don't have it, but they have all these other things. Look at all the things that Thunkable makes super easy. Look at the components that they are adding each and every month. Thunkable makes uh, these things that could take days or, or even weeks to implement in your own app and you can do it in just a, a few clicks here or there. So uh, rather than denounce Thunkable altogether, I want to challenge you to let limitation breed innovation. So when you run into a roadblock or you can't figure out how to do something, challenge yourself, ask yourself, how can I do this differently? How can I approach this a different way? How can I innovate instead of letting this little limitation completely hinder me from completing my project? My third tip is to publish to the Google Play Store first, meaning before you publish to the Apple App Store. There are a lot of steps when it comes to actually going through the publishing process for both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And Thunkable has great documentation on this and I always point people to their documentation because it is very detailed, but the truth is it can still take a little bit of time. I was meeting with a client about a, a week or two ago and he was saying how he was planning on publishing to the Google Play Store first because he really just wanted to kind of get that first iteration, that MVP out there, work through some kinks out there on the, on the Android platform before he even worried about publishing to the Apple App Store. And I agree with this and suggest this to you wholeheartedly. Publish to the Google Play Store first, get that MVP out there so that you can say, you know, I passed this, I, I reached this goal, and then you can worry about the Apple App Store. Even if you wanna get there, um, you can worry about that later. So tip number three, Google Play Store first. Now tip number four is find an example to remix. So one of the coolest features about Thunkable and one of the things they really like to promote is the ability to copy an app that somebody else has already made and kind of copy it in and see what they've done or even remix it. And, and remixing stands for, or means you copy over what somebody else has done and you kind of enhance it a little bit. If you're familiar with GitHub, that, that's like the forking feature. You're able to enhance what somebody else has already done. Now, where do you find these other examples to remix? Well, Thunkable posts links um, on their YouTube channel right below their videos. You'll find them all over the community forums if you are on the Thunkable community forums. And what I have actually done is for all of my videos that I publish on YouTube is I have this thing called my Remix Vault, which is available on my website. And the vault contains all the apps that I have kind of done tutorials on and they're all available for you. I mean, there's over 10 at least, maybe even 15 up there now. 
for you to remix, uh, enhance, and do whatever you want to do with them. So if you're trying to add a feature in your app, find another example that has that feature and then remix it. See how you can use what they did in their app in your app. That is remixing. Now, the last tip, tip number five, is ask for help. If you've made it this far and none of the ones above this, tips one, two, three, or four, don't really help you, well, my friend, it is time to ask for some help. If you have a specific question or kind of know what you're looking for, really one of the best places to look at this point in time is on the Thunkable community forums. If you go to the forums, which I'll link below this video, you can actually search what other people have asked questions on. And that is really the fastest way you're going to get an answer. Because if somebody else has already asked the question and somebody has already provided the answer, well then just searching for where that question is and then grabbing the answer is going to get that answer to you the fastest. But if you can't find your answer based off previous questions or posts on the Thunkable community forums, well, then you can just post your own. That's the benefit of the forums. You can ask your question on there and somebody else from the forums will get back to you with an answer or a different direction or a way for you to innovate. So if you're in this spot and you're still looking for answers, go ahead and check out the Thunkable community forums, which I'll link below where you can ask for help. You know, there really is a lot to think about when it comes to this whole app creation process. And that's one of the reasons that I created my idea to app store guide. This is a downloadable document that's completely free that takes you through the process of coming up with an idea and then transforming that idea into an app inside of Thunkable. If you're interested, go ahead and download that document through the link below this video. And since so many of you have already downloaded this guide and have really shown some interest in actually creating your app inside of Thunkable, what I've done is taken all the things that I've kind of touched on inside of this idea to app store guide and here it is i've transformed that into a full-fledged video course with a ton of additional content and i'm going to be releasing it in the next week or so so if you're interested if you when you download that document you'll be signed up to receive all the updates on that uh, but also just stay tuned if you're really interested about uh, hearing about this new course that's coming out. All right, so here are the five tips to help you finish your Thunkable X app. Number one, think minimum viable product. Number two, let your limitations breed some innovation. Number three, publish to the Google Play Store first. Number four, find an example that you can remix. And number five, if none of the others help, go ahead and ask for some help. Well, my friend, I hope this video gives you a tip or two to help you actually finish your Thunkable X app. And on your journey going forward, happy coding.